sum up your emotions after that, Paul? <laughs> a little bit of everything, I think. Obviously, I think the initial one straight after the game is obviously disappointment when you when you win in a game um, and then you concede so late on whatever it was last minute of injury time. But like we just said in there, we just have to thank the players for a for a phenomenal effort. We're just saying I don't think we could have got any more with the group that we've got with the injuries we've got. We've got two kids on the bench. We've got lads coming off a cramp and. They worked as hard as they possibly could and probably didn't get what they deserved in the end, but that's football, as you say. How about yourself, Tony? Yeah, uh, strange afternoon. Um, scoring four goals and, and not winning the game. Um, I suppose that's a disappointing thing. We've conceded four at home, but sending off changes it. Um, gives them the you know, impetus to, to, to kick on and put the pressure on. But the lads have been brilliant. You know, we've got a lot of young players and mums that have come through the ranks and, and local players who are on the pitch and two 16 year olds on the bench um, backing it up so it's uh, it's been interesting for us and but lads have been brilliant and you know game finishes a couple of minutes earlier we win the game. Was it a penalty early doors can you, can you tell us what, what you know so far about that that turning point in the red card for Gary Dicker? Um, well other than Gaz is saying it I think it was handball but he's, he's, he said he wasn't he feels his hands were down by his side and I think the pace of the shot is pretty much point blank range. I mean, the question is what, you, what you're supposed to do, but without seeing it again, and the referee seems pretty adamant, but you obviously you would expect that he's given the decision. So we'll have another look at it, but it, what's done is done now. If it's just, in a way, you hope it is a penalty, if, if you know what I mean. You don't, you don't want to feel like we're being robbed again like we were at Cheltenham, but say we'll have another look and uh, we'll see what we decide to do from there. You obviously won't change the game itself, but if you feel it is harsh on, on Gary, will you appeal that, do you think? Well, yeah, I mean, if, if there is grounds for that, yeah, we'll definitely look at that. Um, until we've seen it back, we, we can't even really comment, but, you know, if going from his reaction, he's, he's fairly, you know, frustrated that he has been sent off for it. Um, again, in real time, I couldn't really see it for the bodies. I thought Mark had actually blocked it at the time, but because I'm looking at, you know, I'm on ground level, I can't see, so... Um, we'll see. We'll have a look at it. We'll see what we think, and then we'll go from there. Paul, in, in all your time at Cali United, sum up what you made of the atmosphere around Brunton Park today. Yeah, it was brilliant. I mean, I think it was obviously for the neutral, it was a good game, and, and for our fans, it, it, it certainly was as well. Um, I think they've been entertained, which is, I suppose, some of the frustrations that they've had here over over recent times. Again, we've gone a goal down. We've started the game reasonably well. We've gone a goal down, and. I think the response after that was was fantastic, and we got, we got back in the game, played some fantastic stuff. But hit the game hit a bit of a lull, I think, for ten or so minutes. They got their goal, but then obviously we got what we needed just before half time, and in, in, in the equaliser, the second half was pretty much much of the same. Really, we we come out, and I don't think the game really went anywhere for the first five or ten minutes.